The scientists can keep up with the athletes trying to cheat their way to victory at the Olympics using banned performance-enhancing drugs. That's according to the man in charge of a laboratory that will be testing samples taken from the competitors at the London 2012 Games. Samples of urine and samples of blood, perhaps as many as 6,000 all told during the course of the competition. Professor David Cowan directs the King's College Olympic Drug Control Center and the 150 people who will be running the machines there to test the samples swiftly. The mass spectrometers that we use, the very sophisticated instruments, will actually tell us the components that are in a, um, a sample, be it blood or urine, are very sophisticated now. Um, they're far more sensitive than they were in Beijing and they can actually work far more rapidly than they did. But Cowan's team isn't just depending on the liquid chromatography and mass spectrometry machines spotting specific banned substances to catch those trying to break the rules. He says data from an athlete's past test results could be key to finding new cheating techniques. If you take a particular substance, what we'll see is a suppression of your natural hormones. And once we see that suppression, we can then start looking harder, and that will enable the previously unknown compound to be discovered. So Cowan is confident his massive lab won't miss things, even substances not encountered before. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.